the section of revolution revolution is being is podcast podcasted we have chris d stefano from guy code girl code uh and a bunch of other stuff uh very funny dude a dude that i actually was able to kind of reach out and help him when he was going through a breakup you Either, know though in a weird way it's about testing and it's just finding buttons it has nothing to do with whether you can fix the lights or not it's, right if, i don't if, fix shit yeah I don't fix a fucking thing. What if thing. you had hired someone? That's what I'm saying. Like, well, that's that but was that's, always my what, point. Is like, well, when I, well, my argument too, I would be like, well, I understand, but you know, I, we have like some money now. I can we can hire someone, right? You yeah, know, and do it that the, way. Yeah. Right. But it wasn't about that. And I, I felt like what I had to really just understand eventually through the breakup, and which and which is why I think is 90 percent of the reason why I was able to come out of the darkness, if you will, is because I understood that. It was never going to be me. And that's what Dante was saying from the beginning. It was never going to be me. So so this goes to base Phillip rule, which is never let a woman define you. Right. She should not define you. The reason why she fell in love with you in the first place was because she, you were defined. Your direction was your, you were forward moving. Mm-hmm. You were creative. You were doing, you following your dream and doing what you were doing. And right. that's what she found attractive. How long was the relationship? How long were you guys together? And when did it start? Okay, like, so we were together about a year and a half. This is this is this is what crazy. There was a period of time where she was like, you know, just I just went out of this. I yeah. just went, and then I met up with you, and I said, you need to move out. Right. right away. Right. If she asked you to move, because here's his his. If the quote, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The quote was, "I'm so sick of seeing your face." Something like that. Yeah. Get George, the fuck out of here. Just get out. You yeah. know. You're. You know. Get out. You're not a man. You can't fix anything. Yeah. You it wasn't. You hey, this isn't working. It's fuck enough. you. No. It was just. It was yeah. all just get out. Which, leave. Which and then I did out. leave. What I want you to point. What I want to point out is. I mean, it's one thing if a, if a chick falls out of love with you and she goes, listen, this is really not working, but for to degrade you in the process. But there's a reason for that, and this is what we were talking about, why a woman has to degrade your your image before she leaves. Because, number one, Beige Phillip rules who go, these, these rules stand the test of time. A woman finds you attractive, when other women find you attractive, mm. so there was there was a questionable it was questionable whether you you were you were your, of your fidelity that was in question with yes. her. Yes. Also, a woman finds a woman finds a, 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 a man. She only dates a guy who she thinks is better than her. Right. The other thing is when a when a woman when a when a when a woman cheats on a man, a man goes that stinking ass bitch. When a man when a man cheats on a woman, she goes that stinking ass bitch. But in her mind, she goes. Why wasn't I woman enough to keep him? Right. Right. Now, when you have a younger girl, she doesn't take responsibility for anything. So that's a little bit difficult, too, because she thinks that nothing is her fault anyway. Right. But you still when you when you sleep with somebody else or that that inf- infidelity is in question, she cannot leave until she degrades your self image. Right. So, and that's what she started doing. She started berating you. And then yes. when she said move out, you spoke to me and you moved out. The day that she came back, she was like, what the fuck did you move out for? You didn't, you didn't even talk to me. You wouldn't have right. me. But you gave her what she asked for. Yes. We'll come back. But now I've just let her go with no intention of coming back. Just let her go to go. Well, but here's the thing. Yeah. This is beige full of rule again. You never take a stand as a tech as a tactic as a technique yeah you have to be because if she walks and she keeps walking you have to be okay with that yeah. you don't want to you don't want to do it as a technique and then she goes okay i'm leaving and you go wait 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 i didn't mean it because then what you've do you've done is you've compromised your manhood and you've compromised That's your integrity being willing to take the L That's right. what it is but it's you what, the reasoning behind it is that you've compromised your integrity you have to i i i, I tweeted this out the other day with something i was thinking about the other day. But Protect your manhood. Be who you say you are. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be a man and you have to have that respect for you, then nobody should respect you. Your mama shouldn't be able to respect, disrespect you. It'd be tough. The same thing happens with women. Women are pushing you. And you got to be willing to to, to pull the ripcord and say, look, if that's not what you like, then leave. Right. You can leave. You can go. Yeah. Now, in fact, here I go further. I go, how about you pack your shit? I don't even go, you can leave. I don't give you the option. I go, say that again. You get pack next time you say that, pack your shit and leave. And leave. I want you out of here. Why why you have to go there? Why you have to why you have to try, why you I just I love you and I yeah. Yeah, bitch, if you love me, then love me. No, See, not, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I was gonna say, like I never have a... Uh, I, I, I don't know that I have that in me. I don't know that I could do that. Maybe maybe while I'm going to be single for a little while, maybe I'll develop that just from 
Frustration. It's practice. It Maybe takes it's practice. practice. Yeah. But you. But here's why. You, this is how you learn to do it. Because you have to re- learn to read the inference of it. Right. You need to understand that this woman is giving you shit to test you to see if you're a man enough, if you're worthy. Right. She's going, are you worried? When she goes, you you don't even fix shit, blah, 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 blah. What she's going is, I don't know if you're worthy of me. Right. Now that, if you're like, bitch, how dare you? Will every girl be like that? You think the right one won't even question They them? will all do it. They'll do the same thing, but not necessarily. They're not all going to call you a faggot, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> right. It'll yeah. all be to a different degree. Yeah. It's a different level. Some right. will be, will be uh, subtle and passive aggressive a little more. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a it's a degree. But what I do is I read. We have our own ways. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. all it's personalized. A, but you have to. It is a personal <laughs> situation. But yeah. you have to recognize when you're being tested, and every woman will test you. It's what they're supposed to do. This is no longer a situation where you and I are lions. We fight to the death. Or either fight till somebody gives up, and then I take your lion pride and, and fuck all your bitches. It's not like that. It is. It is your social. You have to be a social lion, right? You have to be the social lion. You got to shake your mane. You got to roar, but you got to have that bite behind it. So that if I challenge you, you got to will. You got to be willing to kill me for it, right? So that is. So when she's going, you don't even do, da, 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 like why? Why? Who do you think you are? Like as soon as I hear it, like there's a there's a the tone. Base the for the rule is if you feel a tingle in your nuts, chances are you're getting ready to get kicked in the ball. Oh, <laughs>